Thank you guys for watching. This is a reply to one of my best online friends in the whole world, Christopher Orero. Uh, he says to me, this, this is just crazy, man. Everything was indicating that Argentina would win this game. I do not agree that Chile play a better game. At the end of the day, Chile scored no goals and neither did Argentina. But this was Argentina's game to lose. Gonzalo Iwain. Even as the best player in the world, if you have five players around you, you will be shut down. He did his job by attracting the defense and play well and played well, placed balls to his teammates who squandered, who squandered them. People just expect him to dribble past five past five defenders, every play, and score. That, my friend, is not how football works. If Gonzalo Iwain did not choke in front of goal for the third time, this game would have been a 2-0. Then you have the ref, who I will honestly say was one of the worst displays of refereeing I have seen in my life. You eliminate two players from both teams before halftime in a final? Both teams, both teams were immediately caught to the bone and neither team could really try to press without putting themselves at extreme risk. This ref, what could have been a spectacular... This ref, what could have been a spectacular game, instead, we got this... Beep, beep, penalty match and unfortunately Messi missed his shot after so many attempts you will eventually miss that's just a fact Biglia missed because he's just a bad quality player to begin with I could never even begin to hold the pressure pressure that Messi has and unfolds up like a cheap suit I think he missed the PK against Colombia last year as well. Whoa, dude, Christopher. Hey, man, you know that, like, I always love your comments. I think that they are amazing. Dude, I, I agree with you. You know, when I saw what freaking Iwain did, I believe that, he, I mean, he wasn't expecting that. And, and, and that, that's just, sometimes, uh, do you ever wonder, like, I wish I had the ball. I wish I wasn't that final. I would put that goal in. I would put that goal in. Like, I could just run with the ball, look at Bravo, and be like, there we go. Go, you know. That's how I felt, at least when I watched that freaking mistake that Iwain did. Like, come on, man. He was alone. All you had to do was, like, dribble bravo he was in the air and then you just gotta push it in and that's it but you know <laughs> if, if if we look at everything that way if you guys were to look at everything that way you know every opportunity argentina had we you know to make it fair we could also look at the opportunities that uh, chile had there were opportunities which not too many but there were some that they did that they could have finished them they could have ended up as goal but they, they, they also didn't, you know. It is very hard to swallow, I'm not going to lie to you, that in both finals there were no goals. But in both finals, I feel that Argentina have very clear opportunities to freaking end the game. But we didn't. They didn't. But whether you like it or not, whomever that says the PKs are locked, dude, that's a bunch of BS. PKs. There is nothing about there's nothing about luck in those PKs. There's pressure. There's personality. There's there's uh you, you you know it's just a mental game. And yes, in those situations you do have to show to the whole world what you're capable of. Not only your skill and your you know the money that you make uh, talks. Actually, what you do on the field makes a big difference as well. 
Man, I hope that you like uh, this video. Uh, I made this video for you again. For every Argentina is watching this, I would love to hear your questions, your uh, your input, uh, what you feel, what you think that went wrong, what happened, what is the deal with Messi? Which I believe that he's not retiring. That's a bunch of crap. And uh, Chileans, again, congratulations. Like I said, I am the first one to put my head down and swallow all the words of all the crap I said about Chile. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know. Uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much. Thanks, brother.